Hi, this is Mrs. Lemoyne again, fifth grade, and today we're going to be doing Unit 5, Lesson 12, Estimate and Add. Let's add decimals and think about whether our answers are reasonable. Here's our warm-up. Ooh, uh, number talk. I love number talks. Find the value of each expression mentally. 1 plus 99 hundredths plus 2 hundredths. Well, if I think about this, if I add one of these two hundredths to the 99 hundredths, that's going to make this, so I add one of these to here, that's going to make that a one. So one plus one is two, and I'll have one one hundredth left over. That's how I thought about it. I wonder how you thought about it. Let's get the next one up there. Okay, I'm going to think about that in the same way, right? And I think it's the same problem, right? 1 and 99 hundredths. So I'm going to take one of these and make add it to this, and that's going to make this a 2, and then I'm going to be left with 1 one hundredth again. So again, that's the same problem. They've just written it. They've just combined these two to here. Okay, let's see what they ask us next. Oh, and now they're asking us about 3 hundredths. Well... I can just think about if this is two and one hundredths and they're only asking for one more hundredths, this is going to be two and two hundredths, right? So if I take one of the two, three here, that becomes a two, and I add that one hundredth here, that bumps this up to a two as well. Oh, okay. So again, all they've done is given me one more tenth here. So I think that it's going to be 2 and 12 hundredths, but I'm, let's see, this is my thought, 12 hundredths, but that might not be right. So I'm taking one hundredth here and making that a whole, and that whole is added to this. So, but let's line them up because that's what we used in the last lesson, right? Oops, sorry about that, and see what we get. Okay, 9 plus 3 is 12, and we're adding here, 9, 10, 11, and I carry that over, 1, 2. Yeah, 2 and 12 hundredths, so I was thinking about it correctly. I always like to check my work. Okay, Oop. wow, that's a lot. Let's get rid of my work and see what we're going to work with now. Find the value of 5 and 61 hundredths plus 2 and 53 hundredths. Explain or show your reasoning. Han used the standard algorithm to add the decimals. This is Han's work. Describe what Han did in each step. Okay, well, I'm going to do number one first by going over here and adding 5 and 61 hundredths and 2 and 53 hundredths. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 6 plus 5 is 11. I'm going to have to carry over a 1 and bring down my decimal. 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 and 14 hundredths. Well, we got the same answer, Han and I, and we did the same thing, right? 5 and 61 hundredths, they added 1 and 3, that made 4. And then in step 2, he added 6 plus 5, and that was 11. He carried over his 1. And then he added 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, he did the same thing I did. Let's see what they ask us to do next. Share your description of Han's work with your partner. Take turns being the speaker and the listener. Well, I've already shared, right? <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Use the standard algorithm to find 6 and 62 hundredths plus 3 and 74 hundredths. We're going to solve this problem on our own. So 6 and 62 hundredths. If I line up the decimal, there are three ones, seven tenths, and four hundredths. Two plus four is six. Six plus seven is thirteen. Bring down that decimal. Six plus three is nine, plus one is ten. What was helpful about using the standard algorithm? Well, it's so much easier than having to draw out all the boxes, right? I would have to draw six and then another three, and probably another four. How is the standard algorithm with decimals the same as for whole numbers? Well, we line up decimal places, right? In whole numbers, we do the same thing. We line up the thousands with the thousands, 
the hundreds with the hundreds, all that. Okay, here we go. Which whole number is the sum two and eighty-two hundredths and five and two tenths closest to? Explain or show your reasoning. Good question here. All right. So I think that if I were rounding this to the nearest whole number, this would be close to three, right? Remember, oops, sorry about that. Let's go back one. There we go. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so I would round this. Remember in the last lesson we rounded numbers. So I would look at the two, underline the two, look at the eight, and that's going to push that two up to three. So it's closer to three than it is to two. And then I would look at the five. The two is going to, it's going to be closer to five than it is to six. So I think that my answer should be close to eight. What is the value of two and eighty-two hundredths and five tenths and two tenths? So remember, I'm going to line up my decimal points. So I'm going to write two and eighty-two hundredths, and then I'm going to write five under the ones and two under the hundredths, and then I can add a thou I mean, a two under the tenths, and I can add a hundredths if I need to, and then I'm going to add two plus zero is two, eight plus two is ten, five plus two plus one, five, six, seven, eight. That was really close to our estimate, wasn't it? Eight and two hundredths. So we'll do the same thing for number three. Which whole number is the sum closest to? So I'm going to underline the six. That's my whole number. Look at that eight. That eight is going to make this closer to number seven. And then I'm going to underline the four. Look at that nine. That nine is going to mean it's closer to five. And seven plus five is 12, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. So my answer should be close to 12. So now I'm going to find the value, 6 and 8 tenths. And remember, I have to line up those decimal places. Place value is important. Ones over ones, tenths over tenths, and hundredths over hundredths. Well, there are no hundredths here, so I'm going to add a zero. So 0 plus 7 is 7. 8 plus 9 is 17. I'm going to make sure I have a decimal point. And 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So my estimate was 12 and my answer was 11 and 77 hundredths. That is pretty close together. Nice job. All right, let's move on to the synthesis. Let's take a look at different ways we found 2 and 82 hundredths and plus 5 tenths and two tenths. What is the same about our strategies and what is different? Um, well, it depends on in your class what strategies you used, but for me, I always lined up my decimal points. If I needed to compose new units, I added them on to the top, just like I do in a standard algorithm. The estimate helped me with my calculation because it was really close to the answers. Both of those were very close to the answers. Today we added decimals and we used the standard algorithm. How is you, did we answer any of the questions you were wondering about? How is using the standard algorithm for adding decimals the same and different from the standard algorithm to using whole numbers? Well, they're all organized vertically, right? They're all organized on top of each other with the same pl place value above and below the same place value. We have to make sure we add those digits with the same place value. I need to keep track of where the decimal is in both numbers, so I make sure that that's on top of each other. Okay, here's our cool down. So we're going to practice what we just talked about, right? I'm going to put this number on top because it has more numbers. Well, let's do it. So three tenths, I'm sorry, three ones, four tenths, five hundredths. In this one, I have two tens, one, one, one whole, and six tenths. If it helps me, I can add zeros to the missing spots. Five plus zero is five. Six plus four is ten, so I'm going to carry over one. And I'm going to bring down that one. Three plus one plus one is five. And then two plus zero is two. 
All right, 25 and 5 hundredths would be our answer for this problem. Okay, boys and girls, adding decimals is really easy as long as you keep those numbers in their place value, right? In their columns. And we make sure that that decimal place is written nice and bold for our teacher to be able to see it. Okay, thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you would to my channel. And I will see you for lesson 13.